the things to stun the world in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic probably takes the cake. Everything took a hit in some way, shape, or form, from sports to travel to the subject at hand, small businesses. At the onset of the pandemic, many small businesses faced financial fragility or fear of foreclosure. The number of small businesses that were healthy plummeted, especially those that were involved in accommodation and food services. But today we enter Coral Bean Cafe, a local coffee shop on the south side of Corpus Christi, Texas, which has still prevailed. Kurt Flowers and Barry Irby Jr. share their experiences as the proprietors of a coffee shop in such uncertain times. In fact, Coral Bean's grand opening took place right as the COVID-19 pandemic hit the United States. We were born into COVID, so pre-COVID is maybe like a two-month period before COVID, before COVID hit and we had just opened up. So it's only pretty much post-COVID, no pre-COVID. So during the pandemic, I mean, pretty much all of this place was taken over from a previous location and 90% of the sales got wiped out the minute COVID hit. So it's been a building it from there back to where we are now. The biggest impact COVID had was ultimately wiping out the customers. So that means we had to do a lot of extra marketing. And on top of the other issues that we already had as a startup or starting up a new business. So we had to overcome obviously being unknown, uh, being locked, COVID kind of covered that up. So we are, so while, we're, while we were uh, opening, COVID hit, so we got lost in that shelf because a new restaurant is not important during COVID. And um, especially why everyone's on lockdown or to stay inside. Yeah, we did like knock out like 90% of sales? Probably 90, 95%. Easy. Yeah, something like that. So we had to start over from there. And then um, money wise, you have your same startup costs, but with no money's coming in, that's a struggle. Yeah. The, the big struggle. We did provide the, like, the benefit of kind of allowing us to kind of start over because we were in a transition period when we did start. Yeah. Uh, so we had the staff that kind of was, they were a carryover from the original place. Yeah. And so it was kind of a blessing. Having a fresh start allowed the two to take on a whole new perspective especially in terms of marketing and finding new ways to get more customers. In a way, they believe that the COVID-19 pandemic saved the business because with any unforeseen circumstance, you have to look at opportunities at hand. For example, the carryover staff from the previous shop was completely wiped out. This ended up being a good thing. You start to realize that they were actually a detriment to the business, not a benefit. With most of their clientele on lockdown, having excess staff would have been unnecessary because they would just be standing around. And people to turn around would not have been viable. But rather than see this as a setback, they were focused more on pushing the marketing strategies by various means. The marketing was probably the biggest part, but that's when we decided to look at the opportunity and actually push the marketing harder. Because I have an advertising background, so I know during situations like this, not necessarily a pandemic, most people can't prepare for that, but any um, situations of usually natural disaster, things like that. Most businesses are pulling back their advertising and trying to save money. That's when you actually promote harder because when the dust settles, the only thing people remember is the last thing. And you are the last thing if you're marketing the hardest. So we hooked up with the radio, the, actually the radio stations approached us. Um, obviously we're pushing on Facebook and social media and you know, just getting the word out because we're also on top of being an inconvenient location. We are, we had to make sure how, how could we take this situation and make the best of it. So a lot of people during this time pivot. Keeping business open has not necessarily been easy, but closing up was never an option. We had to make a hard decision. Stay open or shut down like a lot of the other coffee shops did or the other businesses. And we decided that for the same marketing reasons, we need to stay open and just push through because we're the only ones available. In spite of all of the challenges faced as a result of COVID-19, Coral Bean continues to make some of the most high quality coffee and tea on the South Side. Because at the end of the day, COVID is not going away. It's not going to go back to normal anytime soon. So we have to adjust or pivot. And if we don't make those adjust, take advantage of each um, kind of side of that duality, it's, you're going to miss your opportunities and likely close like a lot of other businesses.